Hey, so before we start, I lost the beginning of this video, so um, I'll have to recap what I was thinking. So, basically, me making space station, Kerbal Space Program, tons of babbling. So you basically start at the exciting part. Anyway, I don't see why anyone would complain, but uh, yeah, there you go. There's there's the beginning. That's that's the explanation I have for you. Enjoy. Well, guys, we finished building the space station, module one. So we're gonna fly it now. Um, as you can see, we have the three engines: two heavier ones, one lighter one for the end. These ones will drop off, then we'll go straight to this one. Um, and we've got this uh, thing. Uh, what's it called? Science analysis module or something where they... Oh, the research lab thing. Um, but then we have the cockpit and we have all of these nice extensions so that we can connect to any part of the space station. So when we're back, we will be flying this thing. Okay! So, um... Yikes, we have three lives in our hands. Is this SAS enabled? Yes. Okay, let's just throttle up. And this is a good question, which is which way are we going to go? Um, I guess we're going to go right, whichever way. We have to go to go there. We okay. That laggy start. Oh no, this one's supposed to also be on. Oh well, we can, we can manually do it. Okay, so we're going pretty straight. Wrong way. There we go. Stupid me. I put nothing on this thing to control where it goes. We. Okay, well, back to the drawing board. Well, this looks slightly ridiculous, but let's give it a go, shall we? Okay, SAS on. Engines throttled up, throw this engine on too. And FPS stops going so low. Especially when you look up. Oh, look at that nice sun up there. Okay, so. We are actually doing well. Um, we're getting a lot of speed, which is expected, of course. It may look like we're running out of fuel too quickly, but I think we'll be fine. Once we hit around 700-ish meters per second. We don't have to worry anymore. We're definitely going to make it. And we're definitely going to make it. There's no way that we aren't going to. It's looking really good. Especially since we still have this whole tank left. After these ones run out. Okay. Once these ones burn out, I'll drop them. Disable this one turn. Okay. Oh, let's wait until we're out of the, uh... Oh, you know what? We're just wasting speed by not dropping those. And turn. Wrong way, wrong way. We want to go to the right. Let's turn a bit so that we can actually control it with our fins. And now we just keep going in the... Oh, that's... Ah, good enough. Okay, well, as long as we keep going in this direction-ish, we're not going on a perfect orbit, I know. This is far from perfect. 
I can't control this thing. It's too big. Oh, no. I just pressed it in the wrong direction there. You know what? We'll be back with an actual controllable rocket. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see you then. You know that... Oh, I'm stupid feeling. Yeah, I just got that. I forgot to put uh, RCS thrusters on, but that's fixed now. So, once again, let's lift off. Excited this time because I know it's going to go well. I put reaction wheels in and everything. Activate engine. Oh, that is much better. Okay. It may be overcompensating a bit. Oh no. It's wiggling itself apart. There we go. Oh, maybe we need to have SAS off right now. <laughs> That's a scary thought. Okay. Well, it seems to be going mostly up, so I guess we don't have to worry too badly about it, but uh, let's hope it doesn't go bad. Wow. It's a big world. It would be cool if they could find a way to, like, randomize the water texture so it didn't look all tiled. But then again... You know, I'm not one to complain. Okay. And we are free from the atmosphere. Now we want to go... Oh. Oh my... Forgot to turn on SAS there. Go down to here. Make sure we line this up perfectly. There we go. And we're going to turn it to the 90 mark. I don't really care what direction we go in. We just have to make sure for the second one that we go in the same direction. So now we are creating a little orbit. Oh, we have so much. We can just go s all the way to the right. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> as long as we're not pointing down. We just want this to be going up. So, turn a little bit more. There we go. Perfecto. Look how quickly that's going. We're going to be around Kerbin in no time. So, this isn't supposed to be like a high orbit. You're supposed to be medium. We most likely will have enough fuel. That's my only worry when I do these things. It's the fuel. Oh, no. If we don't have enough fuel, I will feel dumb. I've already made two dumb mistakes. I can't make another one. That's just too much dumb. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. It's speeding up. Now, if we get to, like, a, a very low amount of fuel, I will wait until we hit the uh, apoapsis and then burn because we will get a bit more out of that. Yeah, let's, let's switch and do that. Okay, don't time warp too much, though. We'll mess it up. We going pretty far now. 
stop here. Re. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, dang it. I pressed it once, not twice. Okay, burn. There we go. Look at that. Both sides going out. That actually went perfectly. Nope. Go back. Go back. Right there. Not, not that way. If you guys are wondering what I'm talking to, I'm talking about the little gyro ball right on the bottom middle of the screen. That's how you basically figure out where you're going. Oh no. Come on. Come on, have enough, have enough. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Yes, we have enough. Beautiful. 1,000. It's not a very even orbit, but we did it. We ran out of fuel, but this still looks pretty cool. Now, because... I mean, we could use it as a fuel tanker later on, but it, it's kind of ridiculous to keep it. So we're going to take that off. Bam, we've got our uh, little... <gasps> oh no. Yeah, a little problem I didn't think of. And I think that if we don't get someone to these guys, they're going to die from this problem. Um, Forgot to throw solar panels onto it. Yet another dumb mistake. Well, guys... You know, it could have been worse. Um, not really. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's just time warp a little bit. Let this go away. Oh no, a freaky thing is if we happen to hit it because we go faster than it around. Do do do. No, it's going all the way. Far away. It's probably going to actually hit the planet. No. Now it's in front of us. Well, look at that. Ah, oh, the atmospheric scattering looks so good. Thank you guys for watching. And we are going to turn this into a nice space station later. This tiny little thing. Goodbye!